It was really stressed, um, especially first two or three days because we came in Jeda to win that tournament. I would say these two teams are the two biggest revelations on the tour in 2021. The Belgians just crashed the party as the new kids on the block. Oob is the number two seed, and they're probably taking over that favorite mantle, but we're gonna see who wants it more in this one. For first minute we see two, we don't have chance with the game because we don't have a lot of energy. If Oob can get a steal, which they will not, Vervoort takes his time before he lays it in. It is going to be the Belgians pulling off a big win. Antwerp, they will be moving on to the semifinals. It was very painful. I was the problem in that game because they scored on me like 10 points. I don't know what's happening. I didn't feel very good on that tournament and I feel a little bit embarrassed what I show in that quarterfinal, but we didn't have any chance, honestly, in that game. That was a tough loss. And after that, uh, we took some rest. We didn't play basketball three, four weeks. And after that, we started to practice to prepare for the next season. Here is Oob, and here is their quartet of hoopers right in front of you. And the new addition, instead of uh, Miroslav Pashailic, they've added Nemanja Barak. He's a newbie with no Pro Tour experience. It's going to be interesting to see how he fits in. I played uh, for 12 years, two times uh, national champion of uh, Slovakia and uh, one time national champion of uh, Romania. Nemanja is one amazing player. He has a very good career in 5-on-5. Five five. And we need a strong guy who can play defense on anybody. I know that he will be better every tournament. And we first watching to get some who is a really good person and who want to improve himself and to be focused on that like we are. We didn't go in that game with energy and we didn't go in that game with fighting. They was better than us. We miss a lot of tools like Strachina to say on the court. 21-17, Princeton get it done over the top seed. How does it feel to beat Oob, one of the best teams in the world? We feel pissed off. We're angry. We're going to stay angry. They play offensively amazing. Like Maddox and Hamel made everything. The new guy play very good in, in offense. If they play in this roster the whole season, they're going to be a big problem for everyone. You know, most important thing here is do you believe in yourself and your teammates? And after first game, we really was without stress. We know it's basket. Just go game by game. 21, 15, it took everything that Oob had, but they get a must win to stay alive. On end of the court, we are very good friends. And before and after every practice, we are going to coffee. We are spending six, seven hours a day together and we are like family. And I think that chemistry on this level is uh, key stuff. Strachin and me played all day the some Serbian game with the cards, make jokes on each other and stuff like that. But we are all the time together. Here the guys are uh, together for a long time and I'm like, boop in the middle of them, I need to get in their flow. Stojicic to Majstorovic. Not that time. Here comes Rako. Rako, he chucks the deuces. We're all even at 17 apiece. So we are going to overtime. We just wanted to play pick and roll to see what happens from there. Uh, then took the moment he was free and he was shot and luckily it goes in. Mr. String Music with an incredible two-point strike. Unreal. Incredible game. Oob moving on to the semifinals. He's for sure last, last 10 years one of the best shooter in the World Tour. He is that guy who shot when we need two points. The fact that Enverb is here playing with three players and no substitute is incredible. Big respect to Team Antwerp for today's games. They played great. 
must-see TV. He is box office. Every tournament, he's better and better. And for me, he is now best offensive player in, in the world. Stoic is driving and finishing emphatically. He rocks the rim and rocks Antwerp's world. Oob is moving on to the final. Princeton and Oob, a rematch of what we saw day one. Princeton day one handled this Oob team by four in a shocker. Oh, Stojicic, count that and the bucket. Thirty-six seconds to go. Who's gonna deliver that lethal final shot? Doctor Strange. It is over with. As Oob turn it up to finish day two, fifty thousand dollars. As they take this historic Utsunomiya opener. I want to congratulations to Nemanja. He's with us only fifteen days, and he gave our one hundred percent, and he played very well this tournament. I'm here to learn. I think that I have time, but the most important thing for me here is uh, that the guys are satisfied with me on this first tournament that I helped them. You know, especially we don't want to change nothing. We, last year we played five Masters or six, I think. We was four times in final, two times win, two times lose. We played a good basket last year. We really want to stay in the first place until the end of the season. We want to win more Masters than last year and we want to show in the final World Tour who we are. We are not uh, thinking about future, we are just thinking about Manila now. <laughs>